even though the typical speed that a scooter travels at is, is around residential speed, inner city sort of speeds, it is really important that you've got the correct protective clothing on. The only uh, compulsory part of the safety gear that you have to wear is a helmet. I've got a full face helmet here in my hands at the moment with protection out in front of your chin, a visor to protect your face and your eyes from stones and other things being flicked up in front of you, uh, protection all around. It's the uh, most important thing about selecting a helmet is a nice firm fit that's not too painful but uh, quite tight around your face and your head. A lot of scooter riders like to ride around with open face helmets. Um, of course you're going to need some face protection in the way of goggles or glasses with this one and of course there's no chin protection out the front. Riding jackets are a really important part of your protective gear as well. Not only do they protect you if you happen to fall off, they're going to protect you from the elements. Most riding jackets these days, including this Technic uh, Heritage jacket here, have liners. So you can pull the liner out in summer, put it back in in the colder months. Good jackets have body armour built into the, to the shoulders and the elbows and have a back protector. This is a lightweight summer jacket. The jacket I'm wearing at the moment is a, a winter jacket. It's waterproof. It has a liner to keep you warm in the winter months. The liner can come out if it warms up and you can see this one in the sleeve is vented to let a bit of air flow through to keep you cool. Once again, body protection as far as armour in the shoulder, the elbows and the back. It's just as important to protect the lower half of your body. There's some great products out these days in the way of uh, reinforced jeans. These Dragon jeans, for instance, have got a Kevlar lining on the inside all the way around your backside and down the front of your leg to include the, below the knee. This is really good protection in the case of you sliding down the road. It protects against the abrasiveness of the bitumen. Now the extremities of the body, the hands and the feet are extremely important. They're the ones that cop the most if you happen to fall off. Um, it's really important to get yourself a, a motorcycle set of gloves, not your ski gloves. They've got knuckle protection on the outside, extra padding of leather on the palm, and a Velcro strip that does up around your wrist to keep the glove on in the case that you fall off. These are motorcycle boots, they come right up the front of the shin. They've got ankle protection, heel protection, really good quality boot will protect your foot in the case of falling off. Even this short boot will give your ankle adequate protection. There won't be anywhere near the same protection up the front of the shin, but at least it comes around the ankle bones and if uh, you think about your ankle bones, they stick out, they need protection.